ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah the compassion of the merciful All praise is due to Allah the Almighty And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad His family, his companions and his followers all Until the day of resurrection I'd like to welcome you to this new series on the biography of the Prophet, peace be upon him. We will explore some events, some historical records of what took place in this very, very special place and within the area of al Medina, al Munawwara, the prophetic city, al Medina. Now let me tell you my, what my feeling is today because I'm very, very thrilled to be recording this in this very, very special place. You may recognize where I am. I am in the Rauda al-Sharifa, the piece of garden that is from paradise. And the, this is in, uh, uh, according to what the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, ما بين بيتي ومن بري روضة من رياض الجنة. What is in between my house, which is here to my right, and my member, which is to my left, is a piece of garden. It is from paradise. And indeed, when you look upon what the scholar said regarding this very particular hadith, that this very special place where we are now is going to be taken and transferred to Jannah at the end of time when this life is over. This is a very special place. The Prophet ﷺ lived in this very special place right here next to where I am 10 years after his migration from Mecca. And behind me is the Mihrab place where the Prophet ﷺ used to offer his prayer and lead the prayer of uh, the congregational prayer for Muslims and the Taraweeh prayer that he led during his lifetime. And in this place is where the quarters of the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, starting with Aisha bint Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Aisha radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her and the rest of the uh, wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This is very, very special place as you know and we are in Medina and very happy to bring you this series from here, from this place. And let me tell you that uh, our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has a very, very special status, not only for this ummah, but rather for all humanity and among the other prophets alayhim jami'an salawatullahi wa salamu. When we talk about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we know that this is to make sure that we are in effect doing the testimony of faith because you will not be a Muslim unless you testify that Allah is the, all, the only one God worthy of worship. And also you testify that the Prophet ﷺ is the messenger of Allah. This is the word of faith, the word that gets you into Islam. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. And we know that when the Adhan is being called, also the Mu'addin, the caller to the prayer, says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, twice, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, twice again. That means that we are 
actually testifying the uh, importance and the significance of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. He is the one to be followed. He is a leader among all the uh, prophets and messengers. He has this honor and being the one to obey along with the obedience of Allah the Almighty Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, as you know, says in the glorious Quran, وَأَطِيعُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُوا الرَّسُولِ And you obey Allah and you obey the Messenger. So the obedience of the, of the Prophet, peace be upon him, leads into Jannah. وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ يُدْخِلْهُ جَنَّاتِ So if you follow and obey the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, along with the, of course, the obedience of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you'll be entering paradise as a reward for that. And again, the same thing. When someone disobeys the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam and disobeys Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, they'll be dwelling in hellfire, may Allah forbid us, all from being into that position. What I'm trying to emphasize here is the importance and the status of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam and his uh, nobility and his uh, position um, within the Ummah. He is the most beloved person to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. He is very, very close to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Allah spoke to him directly, sent him Jibreel Alayhi Salam with the revelation to uh, really uh, bring his, his book, the glorious Quran, to humanity. Here in this place, many verses were revealed and received by the Prophet Sallallahu Here in this place, many companions sat with the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. They were learning and studying the, the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu What he had to offer, what he had to say, to uh, uh, people and to uh, convey the message of Allah to all people who carried this message to all corners of the world. In this very particular place, many companions came, many people came, delegations came over, and he, alayhi salatu wasalam, received them. This is a place, and I'm, I'm very honored to, to be the first one addressing you in English from here inside the uh, prophetic masjid, the prophetic haram and sanctuary, the sacred uh, uh, prophet mosque. Uh, this is an honor for all of us actually with uh, recording this. And let me tell you before I proceed, uh, let me tell you that I'm very thankful to the general presidency of the affairs of Al-Masjid Al-Haram, the sacred masjid and the prophetic masjid uh, for allowing us to record here and to convey the message since this series deals with the uh, uh, seerah of the Prophet ﷺ, the biography and what happened during his own time والسلام, how he lived how he started his life, where he came from, what his, what his teachings were, what he carried to humanity, how he led his life in all these years that passed from his birth until his death, from when he really was in Mecca and until he came to Medina and died here in this very close place in the room of Aisha radiallahu anha here in this particular place. And he is here. Um, his grave is here. Uh, the uh, wife of the Prophet uh, 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 Aisha was, the, uh, was here and she, she actually offered the, the place uh, for uh, her father Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab to be in the same room with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. This used to be, by the way, outside the, uh, the Haram or the sacred masjid. But now um, 
since uh, the time of Al Walid ibn Abdul Malik, it was added and included into the structure of the masjid because no one would come in and, and say, now there is a grave within the uh, prophetic masjid. Actually, it was outside and the Muslims did not agree with this, but it did, it did take place and uh, continued as such. And it is a way, by the way, from being offered salah to or um, just only being here uh, since uh, we know from uh, the teachings of for every prophet that every prophet will be or were, was buried in the same place that he died in. So let me tell you uh, that it is important when we talk about the seer of the Prophet ﷺ, we need to live this uh, uh, life of the Prophet, peace be upon him. We need to learn from it. We need to study. There are many, many important aims to uh, uh, listen to what uh, took place during his life, alayhi salatu wasalam, and to learn from it and to show to people that he was an example. He was al uh, uswatul uh, hasana, the good example for all of us as Muslims, and in fact for all humanity. He led a clean and beautiful life, very very great life. Alayhi salatu wasalam. He led this life, and he really gave us the gift of al the glorious Quran, the gift of Islam, to all humanity, to show us that really. Uh, this message sprang from here, but came across the world to carry the message of peace and uh, tranquility and enjoyment. Let me tell you that what a thrilling it is to be here and to speak to you from this very special place and to uh, share in the next, inshallah, episodes what took place starting from the uh, birth and in fact the lineage of our beloved prophets. We need to learn about our beloved prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how he went through all these various events and how he passed through all these uh, times um, that he lived in and, in, and really, really uh, gave us great examples to follow, uh, things to learn from. He uh, of course convey the glorious Quran but at the same time he was inspired to say beautiful sayings from the Sunnah in order for us to follow in order for us to uh, lead a clean and good life and at the end if we follow him and obey his commandments we will be inshallah rewarded with paradise we will be joining him and the rest of the uh, prophets and the righteous people throughout history from the, the time of Adam alayhi salam until the time of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the generations that came beyond after that. So that is the aim and this is the purpose of these series. We want to share with you these things and these events and to learn more about that in order to uh, be on the right track of the life of the Prophet peace be upon him and to learn from it and to find um, uh, things to learn and to, to study and to ponder on and to enjoy indeed. And I would say at the end that inshallah we'll continue this series until the end of like 30 episodes during this series. Thanking you very much, hoping inshallah to see you in the next episode. Until then, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim min rijalikum walakin rasool Allahi wa khataman nabiyyin. وكان الله بكل شيء عليما